Hey guys, in this video you'll learn how to quickly and easily tone an image using gradient map adjustment layers in Photoshop. Let's get started. Photoshop provides multiple ways of turning a color photo into black and white, monochrome, or other limited color palettes. One of the quickest, easiest, and honestly best looking ways is using a gradient map adjustment layer. So here's my full color image and all I have to do is with that layer selected, Click this last icon in my Adjustments palette, which is the Gradient Map Adjustment. You'll immediately see your image change to black and white if your foreground and background colors are set to their defaults over here in the side toolbar. If I come up here into the Properties palette, you'll see that I now have a gradient. If I click that gradient, you'll see the Gradient Editor pop up. So right now my gradient is just black to white, but if I click on the black color stop and change that from black to a dark muted brown, you'll see that I get a sepia type look to my image. Likewise, if I choose my white color stop and change that color to a light blue, you'll see that instead of a black and white image, I have a toned image using dark brown as the black and light blue as the white, and everything in between is the middle of my gradient here. One of the cool things in Photoshop is that it has built-in gradients for uses like this. So if I come over to my gradient and click the arrow, then I can click the gear icon and choose photographic toning down here, and click OK, and that will load these default gradients into my gradient map adjustment layer. There's all kinds of gradients in here from black and white to sepia tone, to gradients simulating all kinds of old film effects. So once you find a gradient that you like, you can also come down to your layers palette and adjust the opacity or fill percentage and that'll blend your toned image with the original image for a more subtle look. You can also change the blend mode for your gradient map, and that'll give you some cool looks that you can adjust again using the opacity or the fill percentage. If you want to experiment, you could also stack multiple gradient map adjustment layers on top of each other, and combine them using different blend modes and opacities. Gradient map adjustment layers are extremely easy to use and can quickly turn a regular color photo into something a lot more special. I'm John Shaver for Photoshop Video Academy. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.